Hey guys, this is Hardit Bhatia, the power addict. I'm back with another topic which is very dear to me. That's because this was part of my very first blog that uh, deals with or talks about challenges with embedded Canvas apps. And I hadn't used it for a very long time. And then a few days ago, a couple of questions came up on the Power Apps community and I had to solve them using um, this topic. So one of the challenges with embedded Canvas apps is that the model-driven form integration control does not load values for uh, related records. There is a suggested solution, which is to use the lookup function, but it works sometimes and then it doesn't work sometimes. So I have a solution that works every single time, and that's what I wanted to share with you all. So uh, let's get into it and see how that works. Okay, so uh, let's get started with it. Uh, I, here I have a simple model-driven app that displays opportunities and price lists. Uh, I have one opportunity already created, a uh, test opportunity, as you can see right here. I'm going to go inside this opportunity and uh, going to go to product line items. As you can see, there is a price list that's referenced here, price list one. And if I go into it, there are a couple of uh, products uh, associated with it. So if I go to price list items, there are two products, product one and product two. So the use case here is that I want to have an embedded Canvas app on my opportunity main form so I can display uh, the associated price list and, you know, if needed, go one step further and display the products that are associated with the price list. So to do that, I'm going to go into my solution then to the opportunity entity and then to forms and then open my uh, main form i have it already opened here uh, i'm going to add a, a section a one column section which i've added here the next step that you would do to create an embedded canvas app is to add a field here one suggestion here is to add a field that's required uh, because that will ensure that that field will always have a value which is necessary if you want to have your embedded canvas app refresh uh, and respond to changes on the host model driven uh, form so i'm going to pick topic as i can clearly see it's a required field add it there double click i don't want to display the label on the form so i'm going to uncheck that I'm going to go to controls add control canvas app add then hit customize that's going to open the app designer uh, for me to create the embedded canvas app so once that opens up it will load with one screen i believe uh, that will show some basic information about uh, the opportunity one thing to keep in mind is the record that is referenced by default here, uh, I found that it's it's the first record in the list. So for example, if I go here, my first record is the test opportunity, and that's the one I see here. So if your first record doesn't have related data, you may not see any of its uh, related uh, records, even if you have created the embedded canvas app based on the solution that I will be suggesting now. So. Just keep that in mind, uh, and if you don't see data, save your Canvas app, uh, publish it, and then go back to your model-driven form and see if it's working fine or not. In my case, it is the test opportunity. I have all the test data loaded as I just showed you, so I'm gonna I'm gonna be good with what I have here, and then uh, let's go ahead and add a screen. Okay, so I'm gonna add a screen. I'm gonna pick a list screen and uh, set its data source to price lists change the layout to just show title so here i have a list of all the price lists now i want to see the price list that's associated with the opportunity record i'm on so if i do something like this model form integration dot item dot price list i will see nothing so what i will do now is add another screen 
set its data source to opportunities. Again, change the layout to just show the title. And now set its uh, items property to something like this. Filter opportunities where opportunity equal to model driven form integration dot item dot opportunity. Now the gallery should only have one record, which is the test opportunity, which is the opportunity we were on. Okay, so now I'll go back to my uh, price list gallery, which was not showing anything, although we know that there is a price list associated with the test opportunity. I'm going to modify this, uh, the items property of this gallery with this expression. So first, let me check what the name of that gallery was. Browse Gallery 4. Browse Gallery 4. Dot all items. Dot price list. And there you go. Now you have the price list clearly visible um, on this uh, screen. So I'm going to go ahead and delete the default screen that gets added. And then uh, save this app. I'm just going to call it embedded price list and save it. And then once that gets finished, I'm going to go back to my form. It fetches the app ID. Make sure to check. Uh, this radio button under web for the canvas app uh, i always forget that and then i have to come back and do that so check this hit okay um, save and publish this form and once that happens we can now go back to our model driven app uh, refresh this page Go inside the opportunity record and make sure the embedded canvas app shows up and the price list shows uh, in that embedded canvas app right there. So a very simple solution. Uh, again, like I said, the lookup might work for you sometimes, but it may not work for you uh, in some cases. So what I would suggest is if you want to show any related record, create a hidden gallery either on the same screen or on a different screen. Uh, for the main entity, which in this case was opportunity, filter down that gallery to that one specific record based on the item fetched from the model driven form integration control, and then use the first function uh, to fetch the first record from this hidden gallery uh, to reference any related records, and you will have them um, work perfectly fine. So, hopefully, the, you will find this useful and uh, this will help you, you know, create more embedded Canvas apps. So have fun and get addictive.